Uh, well, Steve, you said it was going to be a, a tough test tonight, so you must be uh, delighted to come out of it with three points. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. You know, it was a tough game. We knew it would be. It always is against Millwall and always very close, you know. When I think of the game there towards the end of last season where we had to win, you know, to get in the playoffs and they, they did not make it easy for us. So we know what they're all about. They came here today. They really competed in Millwall, but I've got to say our lads stood, stood up to the test and um, when we scored... Uh, I thought we might, you know, step on again, and uh, and then obviously at the second half we got another goal. I thought we could push on even again after that, but uh, yeah, then conceding just knocked us back a little bit. And a, um, a fast start. I think it was 69 seconds. I guess was that in the uh, the tactics well, before okay. kickoff? Yeah, I didn't realise it was that quick actually. But uh, look, we we always have a little bit of a plan. We we watch the opposition, and uh, we were encouraged them to play out from the back. Um, and as soon as they did, we were going to get all over it. And Michael Doughty pinched the ball off their centre half really, really well, really early in the game. You know, he put him on the back foot. And Eduardo, who obviously we're all just getting to know, you know. Uh, made the finish look easy. I mean, I imagine to most young players that would be a difficult you know, uh, goal to score, but to him he just made it look easy. Good finish. And I have to ask you, obviously he went off just before half-time with a nasty looking head injury. What's the, uh, yeah. what's the latest? Well, that's tough, you know, obviously for him because he looked very bright, you know, and uh, the manager was here, you know, and all the first team staff were here to watch and of, of course they're having a good look at him, you know, with, with Saturday in mind. Uh, yeah, he got a cut and had to come off. He was a little bit dazed. We don't think there's any concussion there but uh, he has had a few stitches uh, but fingers crossed he, he will be involved on Saturday that's what we're hoping he's walked away and he looks happy enough to be honest and before obviously he went off he had a big part in the first half and you know the likes of Michael Doughty Bruno Andrade and Jordan Gibbons you had that pace in a in attack which seemed to you know really evident and was posing Millwall lots of problems yeah they were bright them three you know and, and Doughty just in behind them so the four of them are bright because there's pace and Doughty obviously has got good, good craft um we knew we knew that they wanted to press us really really high and they want to play high up the pitch and they did as it happens later in the game they pinned us back but with that kind of pace there's always a threat of a, a, over over the top or down the side of them and bruno and gibbo and doubts exposed them and, and of course eduardo did with his goal and there was two or three other occasions where he looked very bright so you know uh, all the attacking players did well i thought and it was a real battle, particularly in the second half, you know, a lot of niggly fouls, but credit to the lads, they seem to keep their discipline well. Yeah, it's tough, you know, we, I want us to pass the ball, I do, I want us to be a better passing team, and you know, we work on that every day, and it's part of, you know, the philosophy for, for the boys in our, in our football club. But Millwall, of course, were losing the game, and they're chasing, and they're, they're going big with a lot of things, and they had some big boys up top, so we have to stand up and compete, you know, so although we want to play a certain style, why would they come along here and play our style? You know, they, they, they imposed themselves, you know, when they started chasing the game. We should have been a little bit smarter when we got the ball down and find, found another pass. But you know what, the, the, the kids are still learning and, you know, but they're, they're winning and, and uh, there's some really good things. They're very resilient, the boys. This group is very resilient. But yeah, of course, we still have to make better decisions at times. And going into tonight, we'd obviously kept two clean sheets and, and bar the penalty. I can't remember Aaron Licks having too much to do, so I guess that's credit to, to the two Coles at the back again. Yeah, do, you know, I, I'm, I'm crediting the whole back four, and I'm starting to include the two centre midfielders in particular because Frankie and Brandon are getting through some running and tackling and blocking, and they're really helping that group. Really pleased for Aaron Lennox. He couldn't do anything about the penalty. But if you, you have a look back at the penalty, actually, I mean, we knew it was very harsh. It bounced up and hit Yun on the hand like and uh, as it happens we've looked at it again it's just outside the box so it was very very tough on him and on all the lads because you're right it would have been four clean sheets on the bounce and we were really hoping to get that but hey we won the game we can't have it all, all our own way every time you know no clean sheet but another win five games unbeaten so things are uh, ticking along nicely yeah yeah very good um, you know, pre-season was a bit up and down. You know, some of the lads were off with the first team, and then a young group goes over to Ireland, and we get a cup, we get a defeat and a draw, and so things weren't looking so good. But once we get the whole group together, I mean, there's some there's some good players here, and you're right, unbeaten. It's a great start. Three away games in there, you know, two home games, and and we've won our two home games, so. It's it's going well. We're top of the league. Yeah, it's going well. I still will say, and I've told the boys that I still want a little bit more. I want a little bit more brightness on the ball and a bit more craft and a bit more clever play, because the manager's upstairs watching that, and I want you know to try and get into a position where some of them might push, you know, at some stage to to get around the first team.